Hey, welcome Finkstars. Today's discussion is all about how to iterate over a dictionary in Python in random order. Now, a dictionary in Python is generally an unordered set of key value pairs. This means that the items in a dictionary do not have a defined order. That is, you cannot refer to an item by using an index of the dictionary. So let's have a look at that with the help of an example. Suppose this is our dictionary. And now you want to access the first key value pair and you want to access it with the help of an index. Now, since the dictionary is an unordered set of key value pairs, you cannot do this. So let's go ahead and try to forcefully do them and let's see what happens. Now let's go ahead and execute our code. And as you can see, we have an end. Thus, in order to access a value, you must use its key. So if you want to access the value Tyson, then you have to access it with the help of its key, which is roll one. Let's go ahead and have a look at that quickly. And there we go. As you can see, as soon as we tried to access the value with the help of its key, we immediately got the result as we wanted. Thus, this makes it clear that you cannot refer to an item inside a dictionary with the help of an index. Instead, you have to use the key. Also, when you iterate over a dictionary, it is effectively random, but it will produce values in order based on how the keys are stored in the hash table. Now, just for your information, a Python dictionary uses a data structure known as a hash map. The key in a dictionary gets converted with the help of a hash algorithm from a string into an integer value and it involves a couple of very simple calculations to use that integer value and search the right place in the dictionary. Therefore, if you wish to explicitly randomize the sequence of key value pairs in the dictionary, you need to work with a different object that is ordered. Hence, without further delay, let us dive into the solutions and let's see how we can randomize the items within a given dictionary. Now to do this, we have to first convert our dictionary into a list and then use the shuffle method. Now what's the shuffle method? It is a method of the random module in Python which accepts a sequence like a list and then rearranges the items within the given sequence in a random order. So the shuffle method is going to be our go-to method which is going to help us to randomize the items within the dictionary. Now before diving into the solution, let us have a quick look at how the shuffle method works. Now since shuffle is a part of the random module, so we first have to import the random module. And now let's consider that we have the following list and now we want to randomize the sequence of the items within this list. So to do this, we have to use our shuffle method and in order to call the shuffle method, we'll first use the random module and then our shuffle method and within the shuffle method, we will pass our list which goes by the name my list. And now we are going to print my list in order to visualize the output. And now as you can see that the items within my list have a different order. So I hope this explains the functionality of the shuffle method of the random module. Now there are three ways to use the shuffle method and randomize the items in our dictionary. Let's have a look at them one by one. The first way is to shuffle the items within the dictionary. The second way is to shuffle the keys and finally you can also shuffle the values. Now let's dive into the first way that is shuffling the items. So to randomize the items you first have to extract the items and in order to extract the items we are going to use the method or the dictionary method items. So let's create a variable item which stores the items of our dictionary D which can be extracted with the help of the method items. Now our next step is to convert this into a list. So let's quickly go ahead and do that. And there we go. Before proceeding further, let's have a look at 
the elements within our item variable or our item list and as you can see this is a list of tuples containing the key value pairs that was within our dictionary D. Now this makes life easy for us as we can use this list and shuffle each item and display the output as we wanted. So let's use the random module and within the random module let's use our shuffle method and let's pass item within the shuffle method. And now let's print our output. So for key comma value in item which is our list that contains all the items within the dictionary and then we are printing it using the print statement in the following order. That is we will display the key along with the value. Let's execute this and let's have a look if it works and there we go. As you can see we have successfully randomized the items. Now let's go ahead and execute this once again and as you can see this time we have a different order once again. So this successfully satisfies our requirement and we have our solution. So in this method we randomized the items that is the key as well as the value together. Now what if you want to randomize using the keys that brings us to the second way of using our shuffle method. Just as we extracted the items from our dictionary using the items method in order to extract the keys we are going to use a method which goes by the name keys. So keys is the dictionary method which will help us to extract the keys from a given dictionary. And as usual we will use the shuffle method to randomize the order of these keys or maybe before we proceed further let us have a look at the value stored within our variable item so that you can differentiate between the method we used previously and the method that we are using now. And as you can see our variable item has all the keys that are stored within the dictionary D. And now let's go ahead and use the random.shuffle method to randomize these keys and now let's go ahead and print the key value pairs with the help of this list item. To do that we need a slight change here in our for loop. So for key in item and then we are going to print the key and in order to access the value corresponding to that key all we have to do is use the dictionary and then specify the key within it and that's it. Now let's go ahead and execute our code and as you can see we have once again successfully randomized the key value pairs within the dictionary. Let us execute our code once again to check if this works properly. Before that let's comment out this section of the code and let's execute our code once again and there we go. Now this appears to be pretty much the exact order of our dictionary but this is not going to be the case once you execute your code again. So let's visualize that. And now as you can see we have a different order once more. This means every time we are going to execute our program we are going to have a different order of the key value pairs within the dictionary. So by now we have randomized the items which included the keys and the values together. Then we randomized the keys and now let's go ahead and let's try to randomize only the values within the dictionary. In order to extract the values the dictionary method that is going to help you do that is known as values. So instead of using dictionary.keys or d.keys we are going to use d.values. And now let's have a look at what the item variable stores and as you can see this time the item variable or the item list stores all the values within the dictionary. Now let's go ahead and shuffle these values and then print them. To do that we have 
to use our shuffle method and I hope by now you are quite clear with the shuffle method and now inside our for loop we have to make a slight change so let's say for value in item and then we will print the value now let's execute our code and there we go as you can see these were the values in correct order but now when we use the shuffle method we have changed the order of these values and we have a different order of the values now let's go ahead and execute our code once again and you'll find that we have a different order of the values and there we go as i mentioned we now have a different order of these values hence we have successfully shuffled or changed the order of the values in our dictionary now until now we have been working with the shuffle method there's another method which helps us to randomize the values along with their keys in the dictionary the name of this method is sample so let's have a look at the sample method sample is a built-in method of the random module in python that returns a list with a random selection of specified number of items in a given sequence so before we use the sample method let us have a look at how this method works so consider that we have the following list and now let's use the sample method on this list so let's print random dot sample and within it we have to pass couple of parameters the first being our sequence which is my list and the second parameter should specify the number of items within the list that we want to randomize so let's randomize all the three items within our list which goes by the name my list now let's execute this code and as you can see the sample method of the random module has successfully changed the original order of the items in our list now a very important point to be noted in this case is that the sample method will not change the original sequence which in this case is a list so to visualize that let's go ahead and print our original list which goes by the name my list now in the previous case when we used the shuffle method the changes were also reflected on the list but in this case the changes will not be reflected in the original list let's execute our code and visualize that and there we go as you can see that our original sequence was not changed the changes were only reflected in this part of the code where we used the sample method to change the order but the original sequence or the original list was untouched now let's use this method and shuffle the items within our dictionary in order to do that we will need a for loop so for item rather for key comma value in and now we are going to use the sample method of our random module so random dot sample and now as usual the first parameter is going to be a sequence so what is this sequence going to be this sequence is going to contain a list that stores the key value pairs of our dictionary d so in order to extract the key value pairs the method that we used was items and now the next parameter is going to be a value which will define number of items that we want to extract from our dictionary d or number of items upon which we want to apply the sample method now in this case we want to apply the changes on all the items so a very simple way to define or specify that length is to use the method len upon the dictionary d so this means we want to apply the sample method on all the items of the dictionary because the length of the dictionary d is going to be 5 and we have 5 key value pairs in the dictionary now let's go ahead and print the output so let's use our print statement and then let's print the key and then the value 
Now let's go ahead and execute our code. And there we go. We have successfully used the sample method and we have randomized all the items within the dictionary. As usual, let's go ahead and execute our code once again to check if the code is working properly or not. And there we go. It is exactly working the way we want it to. So that brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you learned something from it. And if you enjoy these videos and learn something from them, please give them a like and subscribe our channel for more interesting contents in the future. Thank you.